the concept or doctrine or we can say the principles of Satyagraha. Satyagraha, a history of conflict. Gandhiji evolved the technique of Satyagraha, a novel and a unique way to resist the evil. It is a device through which the unjust, impure, untruthful and evil are visited through love, self-purification and self-suffering. According to Gandhi, Satyagraha is different from passive resistance. No doubt both are methods of meeting aggression, setting conflicts and bringing about social and political changes. However, the two differ from each other fundamentally. While the passive resistance harbors hatred towards their adversary, the Satyagraha views their opponent with love and passionate suffering. The passive resistance, unlike the Satyagraha, may harass and injure their opponents. Satyagraha, unlike passive resistance, can be offered even to one's nearest and dearest ones. Passive resistance is the resistance by the weak and helpless and it does not exclude violence. Whereas, Satyagraha is a moral, political action by the strong and it excludes the use of violence. Passive resistance is a political weapon of expediency, but Satyagraha is a moral weapon based on the superiority of soul force over physical forces. Satyagraha is dynamic while the passive resistance is static. Gandhiji practiced Satyagraha in South Africa and then in India. For the first time in the world history, he proved that with Satyagraha and Ahinsa, you can bring the world to your feet. Satyagraha, which was meant to achieve political ends, was based on three articles of faith, namely belief in non-violence, no government can exist without the cooperation of the people and suffering and sacrifices. Gandhiji prescribes some principles which the Satyagrahi should observe. A Satyagrahi should civilly disobey the wrong orders by following Satya or Truth, which means not mere abstinences from telling or practicing untruth but following the path of good. He should follow ahimsa or non-violence, which means not merely keeping away from killing, but opposing with love. He should follow brahmacharya, a necessary condition that one should not look upon any woman or man with a lustful eye and should control animal passions with stern mind. He should control his palate. He should not steal others' property and if he does, it may be a breach of trust. He should contribute physical labor. He should purchase one's requirement locally or not buy things imported from foreign lands. He should be fearless, which is necessary for the practice of truth and love. He should fight against untouchability. He should cultivate tolerance which implies equal respect for all religions. Now we will discuss the techniques of Satyagraha. There are few techniques of Satyagraha which are being suggested by Gandhiji. In that, first is non-cooperation. Gandhiji maintains that the government perpetuates injustice when the people cooperate with it. The withdrawal of cooperation automatically paralyzes it. If the people refuse to cooperate, even the despot's empire crumbles like a pack of cards. When people follow non-cooperation, the oppressor will be obliged to listen patiently to all the demands of the opponent. It requires courage and self-sacrifice to make 
non cooperation a success gandhi ji advocate few methods like hartal it means stoppage of all commercial activities but the stoppage should be voluntary social boycott or social ostracism gandhi ji suggested that those who defied public opinion should be socially boycotted picketing its motto is to warn or shame the non cooperator it is a great weapon which relies greatly on the force of public opinion civil disobedience or civil resistance for gandhi ji another method of fighting against a powerful enemy was that of unjust and anti social laws the people should be bold enough to declare their intention to disobey cruel and unjust laws fasting fasting is another fiery weapon of satyagraha suggested by gandhi ji fasting simply means not taking food but gandhi ji made it a very potential and powerful weapon it may be used to resist injustice or to change the hearts of evil doers its spiritual content has a special significance it purifies the self and peaceful by bringing about a change in the hearts of the opponent fasting is a success only when the person going on fast is spiritually disciplined and true to his cause strike the strike is another manifestation of satyagraha by the workers demanding justice for their legitimate cause as well as the redressal of grievances according to gandhi ji strike is a voluntary purificatory suffering undertaken to convert erring opponent gandhi ji's views on strike is different from that advocated by the socialist and marxist